Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do remote play on your PS4 using any iPhone, iPad, or iOS device. First off, you'll want to download the app Playcast. Um, Playcast is the connection between your phone and the PS4 um, that's going to allow you to see the screen and have the GUI for the controls, which I actually don't recommend using. I recommend either using the PS4 controller that you have if you're close to the PS4 or a Bluetooth controller that you can buy for $20 to $30 pretty cheap. Alright, so starting from our PlayStation home screen, we're going to go over here to settings. In settings, we're going to scroll down until we get to the remote play connection settings. Here, we're going to scroll down to the add device button. Alright, and using that 8 digit code, we are going to type it in under our username. And by the way, the username that we're using is not the shortened version, but the whole username itself. And it should give that down on the bottom right where it shows your eight digit pin. Okay, so now we get a few different options for the connection mode. I strongly suggest whenever you do this, you do this on a Wi-Fi network of five gigahertz. It will work on 2.4, but five gigahertz is going to be a much stronger signal. So we're gonna go ahead and do local network. On display, if you have an internet speed anywhere below 25 megabits a second, I would strongly suggest 540 or 360p. Anything above 25 megabits, you can use 720p and you can test that on speedtest.net. The frame rate, I'd keep it 60 FPS just to keep a smooth gameplay. Display mode is just your preference. The on screen controller isn't really important if you're using a DualShock 4 controller or a Bluetooth controller, so I'm going to go ahead and turn mine off. Um, I shall leave it on just to show you guys how it works. And then down here, several different options that you can kind of toy around with. So now that our PlayStation 4 is registered, we'll go back and we can now click play. All right, and here we go. It brings us back to settings. We see we get the on-screen GUI for the controller. It's all right. Not the greatest. I can't really imagine playing a game with this. But as you can see, it is very responsive. All right. And now the second thing you're going to do, and one thing I forgot to mention is whenever you do register your remote play, I advise you to register it on a guest account, not your main account. And the reason for this is you can only have one controller per, per account, and the GUI that it has um, already on screen counts as a controller. So go ahead and use one of your other accounts. I'm going to turn my PS4 controller on. I'm going to sign in. And... Now, as you can see, I have my PS4 controller hooked up, and it is connected to both of these, so I can simultaneously use my controller with my phone. As you can see, there is virtually no lag between my screen or my monitor that I'm using and the phone itself. So I'll go ahead and open up an application real quick. And the game runs perfectly on both the iPhone and the PS4. Almost no lag whatsoever. Alright guys, if you like this video, then go ahead and give me a like down below and go ahead and subscribe for future awesome videos on how to do cool stuff. Thanks guys for watching.